Welcome to part one of our tour round Chester. Uh, this is on behalf of uh, Chester Photographic Tuition and Online Gallery Design. Uh, we'll put all the links in the description below. Uh, our course or our experience days operate Monday to Friday, 10 o'clock. They last about five hours. They're all one to one. We're the only uh, organisation, a photographic organisation within Chester who operate these, uh, these courses. Um, they're suitable for people who have uh, professional equipment, Canon, Nikon, Fuji, etc. Or if you've just got a mobile phone and you want to improve your photography. Um, it's not about the equipment, it's all about composition and the way that you format your imagery etc. Now we would normally go in the cathedral but unfortunately today there is a uh, memorial service for the anniversary of the U Ukraine war um, so we, that will have to wait for a later date but come with us as we take a journey around some of the locations around Chester that uh, will hopefully inspire you and um, as I say with a one-to-one -one professional photographer uh, lesson you'll improve your composition and the you know the formatting of your images um, payments is made on the Eventbrite platform and uh, that's obviously very secure if for any reason you uh, you're unhappy with uh, events then you know a full refund is obviously given but we would like to think that you have a sensational day uh, the, co the course lasts about five hours and this particular part of the uh, day focuses on Chester Cathedral and the Roman walls and we'll go all the way down to the River Dee. Um, the images available in Chester are obviously second, second to none. Uh, let's have a look, just go down here. So, of course, would normally cover the infrastructure of Chester itself, Ch sorry, Chester Cathedral itself, and the artefacts therein, a transept, and the roof gallery, etc. We'd then move on to the Cathedral Gardens. So let's, uh, let's walk around here, and now we're going to make our way towards the Roman walls. We'll be hopping on and off the Roman walls throughout the duration of the, uh, the trip. Let's just uh, wander down here. So it really is magnificent. Oh, hello. <laughs> First visitor of the day. So let's go along here. And she was like, and so this is the first part of the Roman Walls East Circle, uh, the city of Chester. It's about, uh, I think it's about a mile and a half in total. So it's not too bad, but we do spend quite a lot of time at various locations within the within the city. So come round here to the eastern end of the cathedral and there's the uh, Roman walls. A bit of history here, I've got the, got the church, the fact that it was actually as well as actually been a church here since uh, AD 900. Although I think the actual buildings yes. were built some time well after that. Now this is actually one of my favourite uh, paths here. Very Dickensian. We just moved down to these Georgian buildings here. And 
looking down towards Abbey Square and uh, this particular area has featured in a number of films, Netflix films, I think Sherlock Holmes, one of the versions uh, was filmed here, so it's quite a, quite a photogenic area as you can see with the cobbles. Uh, so let's move back now and we rejoin the wall. We're going to move down towards the Eastgate clock. A lot of tourists in Chester, obviously. It's uh, unfortunate that unless you come at six o'clock in the morning, we'd be struggling not to get a few uh, a few tourists in the uh, in this particular shop. But we'll uh, endeavour to try and avoid them if we can. Certainly won't be getting them in our pictures when uh, when you come with us. As you can see, this uh, particular video is being filmed in spring. Crocuses just coming out. Daffodils are in full bloom. And the, uh, this particular building is the uh, bell tower. All automated. <laughs> no bell ringers here today, I'm afraid. Famous Roman wall. We're walking down now towards the Eastgate clock. As I say, the, uh, the tours normally last about five hours. Um, it's not arduous, we don't, uh, there's no sort of steep climbs. There are stairs involved. We sort of advise people to bring robust footwear. We don't want any slippages or Falls. So let's move our way down here. And there we go. We uh, probably one of the most photographed images of a city, the uh, Eastgate clock, which was built in 1897 as it says, and it commemorated the anniversary of Queen Victoria on the phone. I'm just going to look down now. And this is one of the most famous streets in Chester, Fargate Street. And you can see the uh, medieval buildings there. Okay, let's move on. Fantastic. There's always so much going on in Chester that uh, you can't fail to have a decent, a decent day. It's really a spectacular city. So, there we go. Down we go with steps. So, uh, a little bit uh, awkward in places, but not too bad. Let's move along. Busy today, obviously, with it being a this particular video, say, was filmed on a weekend, so uh, it's one of the reasons we tend to 
cover Monday to Friday, although we can actually do weekends if uh, if uh, people or guests are interested. We're pretty flexible. Now, this particular area, unfortunately, uh, the city walls are crumbling. Uh, this is uh, known as East Gate, and uh, sadly, the uh, the walls are being repaired behind these uh, enclosures. Hopefully, uh, won't be too long before. Sorted. Yeah, that's better, right. Now, this is one of the uh, famous okay. viewing points. We've got one of the entrances to the city walls here. And then if you can just sort of see down there, we've got the Roman Gardens. Moving across, we've got the Roman Amphitheatre. And then behind that, St John's uh, Chapel, St John's Parish, which was actually the earliest, I think, church in uh, in, in Chester. Uh, this, uh, that actually predates the, uh, the actual cathedral. And if we look down now, we've even got, would you believe that, look at that, we've even got a Roman centurion. Well, can you believe it? Lovely. So that's, um, that's part one. So uh, stick with it. Uh, all the links are in the description below. And we're going to now continue with our trip down to the Roman gardens and then looking across to the Roman amphitheatre. So that's the end of part one and we'll see you at part two.